Warning. This experiment involves toxic and corrosive chemicals, gloves, goggles, and lab coat are absolutely mandatory. In a previous video we made cinnamaldehyde, a yellow oil responsible for the flavor and odor of cinnamon. Chemically speaking is a quite interesting molecule, it is able to react with other carbonyls such as acetone in a reaction known as an aldol condensation. When acetone is used in this aldol condensation a secondary product is obtained from a secondary aldol reaction, this product suddenly appears as a yellow precipitate after a while, thus this reaction is known as a clock reaction. As it seems as nothing is happening until the precipitate appears all at once. Materials and reagents required 0.4 ml of cinnamaldehyde 1.50 ml of 2 molar potassium hydroxide solution 2.5 ml of 95% ethanol 0.1 ml of acetone First, 2.5 ml of 95% ethanol are carefully added to a small test tube containing a magnetic stirring bar then 0.4 ml of cinnamaldehyde are added to the test tube as you can see this is a microscale experiment, I don't have much more cinnamaldehyde than the amount I am using, that is why I am doing the microscale experiment, but if you keep the ratios of the reagents you can scale it up, you can use natural cinnamon essential oil, which contains about 98% of cinnamaldehyde. Then the potassium hydroxide solution is carefully added. Finally 0.1 ml of pure acetone are added to the reaction vessel. At this point the reaction should start to get place, the reaction that is taking place is indeed tricky, it is basically a double aldol reaction. First the acetone is partially converted to the enolate thanks to the hydroxide present in the media. The enolate is then able to attack the carbonyl group of the cinnamaldehyde in an aldol reaction followed by a dehydration, this first overall reaction known as an aldol condensation yield our first products, 6-phenyl-3,5-hexadiene-2 on. Then this first product is partially converted to its enolate form. This reactive species further reacts with cinnamaldehyde remaining in the media in an aldol condensation to produce our final product 1,9-diphenyl-1,3,6,8 nona tetra in 5 on, which crash out of the solution as a yellow precipitate. The reaction took about 3 minutes to take place, the reaction time can be modified by changing the concentration of the hydroxide present in the solution or the temperature. Thanks for watching.